Hi, Art here, and welcome back to Stem Cell Talks. Just a quick update on a multiple sclerosis phase two clinical trial utilizing a patient's own stem cells. Now, MS is a progressive disease involving damage to the sheets of nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. Symptoms include numbness, impairment of speech and muscular coordination, blurred vision, and severe fatigue. The National Multiple Sclerosis Society is funding a phase two clinical trial that utilizes the patient's own mesenchymal stem cells to treat the disease. Now our regular viewers will recall, mesenchymal stem cells are prized for their plasticity and immune modulation capabilities. In the case of MS, mesenchymal stem cells were selected based on their ability to differentiate into neural progenitor cells, which can serve to repair the damaged neurons that result from MS. This is how the process works. Mesenchymal stem cells are recovered from the patient. The cells are then cultured and differentiated in vitro, which means outside the body, to differentiate into neural cells in clinically significant numbers. The cells are then injected back into the patient's spinal fluid, where they secrete growth factors to repair the damaged cells, as well as anti-inflammatory factors that the researchers believe will inhibit the autoimmune response that causes the neural degradation. Previous clinical trials have already demonstrated the safety of the treatment, with this stage of clinical trials seeking to determine the efficacy of the treatment. This innovative treatment represents a convergence of two powerful forces in medicine, personalized medicine and stem cells. It is yet another example of where regenerative medicine is heading, utilizing the patient's own stem cells to treat a wide range of disease, trauma, and injury. That's it for now. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.